First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 60, verses 1 to 6. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and the ephah, and from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The Word of the Lord A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefits, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed, to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are coerced members of the same body and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel, the Word of of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star they had been seen, the star that they had seen at its rising, preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed and seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today the Church celebrates the solemn feast of Epi Epiphany, where the three wise men from the East, guided by a star, comes to Bethlehem 
in search of the newborn infant and pays him homage and offers him gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh. This feast has a great hidden mysteries. The gifts of these three wise men, gold is to represent that he is the king of kings, frankincense for the high priest and myrrh for the unblemished sacrifice. They knew who he is, even as an infant, that he will be the king, the high priest and the sacrifice. Do I realize who Jesus is for me? Do you know who Jesus is for you? Or do you understand the, what Jesus is for you in a personal way? Not what we all believe that he is God and Lord, but who is Jesus for me personally, individually? Do I trust in him? Does he reveal himself to you? The revelation of Christ, the epiphany of Christ. We go to church, we kneel down and we pray. In the sanctuary, when the bread and the wine is transformed into his body and blood, we pay him homage, we worship him. But do we realize that presence of God at that moment? That is an epiphany where we come to see, witness the real revelation of Christ, the real glory of God. So therefore, dear friends, in this feast today, let us ask the Holy Spirit to enlighten our faith, to deepen our faith more and more, so that we may come to know and come to experience Jesus in a personal way, in a one-to-one -one relationship where all the saints have done that then our faith will get more deeper and we will understand who Jesus is for us and he will reveal who he is for us. Amen.